What up, y'all? So with this video, I kind of want to let the, the cat out the hat. You know what I'm saying? As they like to say. I just, I just want to just let it. <laughs> I just want to go all out. Like, I don't give a fuck. Niggas bullshit with the fight, so we might as well just keep it a trillion. You, you hear me? So listen, yeah. As y'all coming into this video, y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now check this out, right? It's not really a theory. It's just my personal thought. I always got to make these disclaimers in videos because sometimes niggas come through and they be like, where did you hear that from? Me. Stupid ass nigga, me. Now listen. I feel like Terrence Crawford it, it, it's just a feeling. I feel like Terrence Crawford wants to keep the belt away. Listen to me. He want to keep the belt away from Earl Spence more than he wants to take the three belt, the three belts that he has. Is that let that shit sizzle in your spirit a little bit? Let, just think about it. What I'm saying to you. Earl Spence got three belts. Terrence Crawford got one. The urge of him wanting to snatch those three belts, the urge is less than it is the urge for him want to take the motherfucker. He don't want to. He don't want to give up the shit that he got because he still want to be able to say, "Hey, man." Because you heard him say this plenty of times on different occasions. I done did. I done been undisputed. Earl Spence ain't never went up no weight class. Even you you heard Terrence Crawford team saying things like that too. Like, we done been up in weight class. Earl Spence still in his one weight class. I did more than him. They always bragging on the accolades, which you're supposed to do, but they brag on it in a way to the point where they like, he ain't did what I did. So, he got to come get this belt. If he want this belt. That's why he taking it. That's why he dragging his feet in negotiations right now. Because he feel like, nigga, I got the belt. Ain't this what y'all want? Come get it. And he run away with it and shit. With the motherfucker tied around his waist. You hear me? He got the belt tied around his waist. Dangling by his nuts. And he running with it. And he like, all right, come get this motherfucker. And he running the other way, like, run as fast as he can. He gone. That nigga look like the Flash. He, you know, you heard me? Beep, beep. So he, 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 he gone and shit, right? So he like, he like, come get the belt. Earl Spence like, nigga, come on, man. You got my other belt, man. Come on. But like, no, nah, man, I got this motherfucker. You heard me? So it's like, that's how I look at it with these negotiations right now. Because if he wanted to take those three belts, as much as he wanted to keep that one belt away from Earl, we had a fight already. We had a fight. Now the fight can get announced next week. We got to do that shit like that. And you know, but I'm just saying, as of now, this this how I'm looking at this shit. You know, and I always felt it, it all add up, it all makes sense, man. He trying to keep the belt away from that man. He, like I said, I I mentioned this before. It's like Earl Spence the Bull. Terrence Crawford got the belt and that bitch red. He just holding that motherfucker up. Every time Earl Spence come charge, he ain't standing there. Like no big old, you know, like no big old gangster, no monster or nothing. So he 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 just hold that motherfucker soon. Earl boom, charging for him. He, yeah, no. And he just take off in the other direction. That's what that nigga do. <laughs> That's what that nigga doing, man. He bullshitting, man. I'm on his ass now. I was trying to chill for a minute. Wait till the fight get enough. You know what I'm saying? I was going to, you know, sit back 
Let the fight get now and then go fuck all that. I'm on this nigga ass now, bro, because you bullshitting, bro. You know what you're doing, bro. But yeah, man, that's, I hope y'all understand my analogy, man. That's just, that's just what's going on, man. That's how I'm looking at Bud. That's how you know he ain't that confident on him believing he going to actually beat Earl Spence. I'm talking about actually beat him. Because if he did, he'd be jumping in that bitch head first. Don't get me wrong. Niggas life, it lives, faculties, eyeballs, ribs, cheekbone, jawbone, all that shit is on the line. And I understand niggas got to get their paper, but at the end of the day, it's a thin line between I, I want to get my paper to I don't really want to fuck with this nigga. And it's leaning more on the side. Yeah, I don't really want to fight him, but if you offer me this, then maybe you can change my mind type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how this shit looking right now, man. So, but my high, my hope's still high. I'm hoping this shit go all good and everything like that. I hope, but, you know, at least be like, man, I, I can use that type shit and, and, and take the paper and hop in the ring. But, on some real shit, though, that's what that's the vibes I get from Terrence Cross. He he wants to keep the belt from him so he won't be able to say, so he won't have the ups on him, like on some bitter fuck shit. Because that's what it all boils down to. It's like some bitter shit. You know you can't take the three belts from me, so you'd rather keep this one away from me. So I won't be claiming greatness because you want to be the only one saying, hey, I done did this and this and this. I'm number one pound for pound. He ain't do that. It's like some fuck shit. It's like some shit like anywhere, any kind of way I think about it, it all boils down to some bullshit. It's like some spiteful ass. It's like some whole shit. Like, you will see, like, a bitch you don't want to fuck with doing some shit like that. Like, okay, if we can't... It's like, uh, if we can't do this together, then I don't want you to have it at all. It's like a fuck nigga who messing with a girl, right? She end up messing with some other dude or whatever. This bitch ass nigga killed himself. This in my head because I recently just seen some news about this. He killed himself. Boom. And, and, you know, I hate to say it, but like kids. And the girl. He killed every fucking body. Just because he can't have you. It's some, it's some. Psychology shit behind that. You gotta think about it. Uh, this nigga be he really he willing to fuck everybody. If I can't have you, nobody will. And that's how Bud treating that fucking belt. He like nigga, if I can't keep this bitch, Earl, you ain't getting it, nigga. <laughs> so it it is what it is, man. Hopefully this shit go down, man. But that, I had to throw that out there because that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? He'd rather keep that motherfucker away. You know what I'm saying? As, as much as possible, as long as possible, along with keeping his eyeballs for as long as possible. I can see why you would want to keep your eyeballs, though, but fuck that belt, man. You know what I'm saying? He basically selling that motherfucker in a way because it's like, okay, it's going to come with, a, a, you know, a cost of some health benefits and shit like that, but you know what I'm saying? But fuck that belt, nigga. If they offer you a certain amount of paper, get get gone. Get that motherfucker up, nigga. Cause, cause that nigga on the that nigga Earl He gonna get that motherfucker one way or another. So so Bud can do this. You you can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's getting took, my boy. But it is what it is, man. 
y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already, man. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.